Gotham Knights is coming out tomorrow on Friday, October 21st. In today's video, guys, we're going to talk about the reviews and what pros and cons I've gotten out of these reviews and what I really am wondering about. Let's talk about it. What is going on guys, Jimmy with a video today, and yes, Gotham Knights is nearly upon us, it is tomorrow, cannot wait for this game, I've seen some reviews, I've tried to stay away from spoilers, and let's talk about some of the stuff that I'm hearing from some reviewers. So the first person I watched was IGN to see how the game was, it was a 10 minute review, and what I got out of it was some mixed stuff, got a 5, and that really concerned me, and that really made it going forward really worrisome, but I knew that IGN likes to mess around with reviews and, and favor other games, obviously they're going to favor Arkham, because they kept saying the word Arkham in the review, obviously I say Arkham a lot, but I'm not a reviewer, so Arkham is what they keep comparing it to, and I've clearly said this on the channel, this is not Arkham, this literally you're not going to like this if, if you're going to think it's Arkham. They gave it a 5. I watched someone else they gave it a 7. Then I seen some scores on the Metacritic. You see right here, I'm scrolling down. There were 90s. There's some 90, about 95. The game's got a 70 on Metacritic. This is one of the most mixed games I've seen yet. I'm going to talk about some of the stuff I've seen on different ends. So, for the positives, I've seen a lot of people talking about the world itself. So, the world itself is fun to traverse, to do some open world stuff. I heard that from IGN. I've also heard from another source that... It's boring to traverse the world, and it's just best to get into the missions themselves. So the world itself is a mixed bag. You got someone that says it's like Arkham, and it's fun. Obviously, it's not Arkham, but it's more like Arkham, and it's really fun to uh, traverse and solve crime stuff. But then you got someone else saying that, just get me to the mission. The world itself is a mixed bag. Obviously, I can't even distinguish which one's right because I haven't played the game yet. Alright guys, up next is the graphics and to be honest, I was not expecting any issues with the graphics and it does not disappoint. The graphics from all reviewers, most of them from what I read and watched, say that the graphics in this game are top notch. Ray tracing is evident. The game looks great in 4K but there's 30 frames per second and that kind of hampers the experience a little bit but that's not the graphics. That's performance. We'll talk about that in a minute. Sound, I hear that it's got really good music and for the sound uh, soundtrack uh, I hear it's got really um, mixed music from some people but I'm mostly hearing positive when it comes to the sound and the dialogue and all kinds of other stuff the, sound, the dialogue is probably what you're more worried about when it comes to sound and it doesn't disappoint from what I'm reading alright guys so up next let's talk about the fun factor which is what we're here to talk about because we play video games because they're fun not because of the graphics so is it fun I'm hearing very mixed ones on this one. I'm hearing if you like Arkham, you'll like it. I'm hearing if you think it's Arkham, just ignore it. I'm also hearing it's worse than Assassin's Creed from what I'm reading. This game is everywhere. So let me talk about what I think is going on here. Fun factor here is going to be probably between repetitive mission designs from one end and the other end is very very great missions and side missions and this one is just crazy it's divided i don't know which one to say i'm gonna play it myself and I'll let you guys know when i play it but that's all i'm getting up next is the combat okay the combat in this game i've said it since day one is nothing close to arkham clearly said in the review if you're hoping this is arkham you're gonna be sadly disappointed i'm trying so hard not to put places as an arkham game when i play it tomorrow if you think this is an Arkham game, you're going to be disappointed. Otherwise, I've seen some people say the combat is bland. Otherwise, I've seen some people say the combat is very intuitive and fluid and different and very rewarding when you do it times right. Then I heard other people say it's like smashing buttons and it's repetitive and it's boring. Gotta find it myself, right? So, there you go. Up next is the story. The story is very mixed, once again. One end says... This game's story is bland and never compels to the Court of Owls' main motives. And another source would say this story is very great and it's got really good characters and the villains are great and it's got a good, really compelling story. This is mixed, guys. So we could cover the gameplay, the graphics, the sound. We covered most of the stuff. I was a co-op and I'm not going to be playing this co-op, maybe one or two missions, but not really going to be focused on co-op because I love the single player games. This game shines in co-op apparently so if you want the co-op experience you're really gonna be happy because it shines yes we're gonna talk about performance in a minute but it shines you can do missions together you can be on the other side of the map it's really cool it's like saints row kind of it's not forcing you like avengers but it's letting you do it like saints row and that's pretty cool 
Um, as for performance, this game runs at 30 frames. Uh, that's ridiculous. It is 2023, almost. And we are sitting here at 30 frames per second on a game that is 4K. I understand it would be 1440 and probably 60 frames. But 30 frames and and 4K is not as bad as what I heard Plague Tale was, what? 30 frames and 1440? That's even worse. But I wish you had the choice to make between graphics and performance, but it's okay. It, it, it's... it's better than nothing seriously Gotham Knights is a very mixed bag I do hear one thing that's really concerning and this is pretty much my biggest fear going into this game is the boss fights are bland and very repetitive okay I seen a boss fight with Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze we already know we're fighting Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze the way you fight them though does not look very uh, unique like Mr. Freeze in City very unique Harley Quinn has never really been a unique fight in the series but Clayface was unique in the city, and so on. It's weird, it's hard to see that I'm seeing a lot of people agreeing to this too. But I do hear there's some standout boss fights in the game, so it could be like a, could be good, we don't know. But I do hear most of the boss fights are kind of similar pattern and stuff like that. Let's talk about the upgrade system. The upgrade system is very grindy. If you are a DC fan and you want to play as Robin Batman, you want to play as Robin Batgirl, Nightwing, and Red Hood, and you want to grind your ass off and to get so much stuff, it's going to be fun if you like that kind of stuff. If you are not the biggest DC fan and you're playing this game, it's not going to really get hit home with the uh, upgrades and stuff. It's because it's so difficult. So, yeah, that's that. Okay. So, uh, right now, the score is at a 70 on Metacritic. Maybe 71, maybe 68, maybe 69. Who knows? Overall, I'm seeing very, very mixed results with this game. I am seeing mostly positive when it comes to the graphics and the story and the new-ish combat, they call it. Yeah, I'm seeing very bad results when it comes to boss fights and some of the grind. Now, I will be playing this game tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'll be playing so much with this game. I'll be doing boss fight videos when I, when I beat them. I'll be doing... Uh, I might even stream the game. Who knows? This is going to be a very big game with a focal point on this channel. Yes, I know it's not 97 on Metacritic like Arkham City and 95 like Arkham Asylum. But before we leave, let's talk about Arkham Knight. I am currently just completing Arkham Knight for the fifth or sixth time since I've had this game in 2015. And let me tell you. If you think the missions in that game were good, you must have never heard of Twisted Metal. Because this game... Is Twisted Metal 80% of the game. 80% of Arkham Knight is Twisted Metal. So there, there's really no room for Gotham Knights to fail against that. But let's talk about Arkham Knight. That compares it. Arkham Knight has the best combat in the series. Arkham Knight has a really great story. Arkham Knight has like some of the best DLC. Arkham Knight is a very, very great music score. It's graphically good. So yes, the mission variety in Arkham Knight is hit or miss. Gotham Knights sounds the same. Got great graphics, great, great sound. Boss fights are just like Arkham Knight. They seem bland. At least you're not in a car the whole time fighting tanks. So that's what I want to say because I am currently about to start playing Arkham Origins next. I beat Arkham Asylum City and Knight recently to get the feel and play them again. I am going to be making videos, boss fight videos. I'm going to be making so much challenge map videos. Stay tuned for that stuff in the coming weeks. But tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday... We're going to see a lot of Gotham Knight stuff. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Obviously, we're not going to see Arkham City and Asylum. We might see Arkham Origins or Knight maybe when it comes to some stuff. But let me know what you guys think. If you play Gotham Knights. And stay tuned for more content about Gotham Knights, VR, Kingdom Hearts, all kinds of other stuff in gaming itself. So, Alright guys, stay awesome, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys.